the easiest way to graph these three lines would be to use the x and y intercepts. I'm gonna call this equation one, equation two, and equation three. When x is zero, y is negative two. When y is zero, x is negative two. Here, when x is zero, y is two. When y is zero, x is four. Here, when x is zero, y is five. When y is zero, x is negative two. And before I graph, the first thing I'd like to do is to what I call scale. So I find the biggest x and the biggest y which is this one and this one and then I use that to plot a maximum point and I do this so that I don't just randomly plotting points and then you know eventually run out of space so here line one we have negative two and negative two this is this is about two, so here's two, and then here's negative two, so negative two, negative two, and then I will connect them. This is going to be line one, and I usually do the shading after I plot all the lines. I think that's easier that way. Next we have y two and x is four. So about like this. Here's line two. Line three we have x is negative two, y is five. So right here. Now we go ahead and do the shading. Line one it's a positive and it's greater than so line one shades up and then we can see that line two is y less than so line two shades down so it's within this area line three is less than but it's negative so it shades up so we can see that it's this area over here and here are the corner points one two and three I'm going to call this point 1, uh, I'm going to call this point A, call this point B, and call this point C. Point A here comes, point A, point A here comes from line 1 and line 3. So I just solve for line 1 and line 3. Here we have x plus y, and then when you solve, you can drop the sign. x plus y equals negative 2. 5x minus 2y equals negative 10. I'll multiply the equ first equation by 2. We have 2x plus 2y equals negative 4. Add these two, we have 7x equals negative 14. x is negative 2. And naturally, y is negative 2 plus something is negative 2 so y is 0 and you can see this is what where that point is but I'm just going to solve I just go ahead and solve it just to make sure so negative 2 and 0 for point A and then point B is line 3 and line 2 so we have 2x plus 4y equals 8. We have 5x minus 2y equals negative 10. I take the second equation times 2. We have 10x minus 4y equals negative 20. Add them. 12x equals negative 20. Uh, negative uh, 12. So x is negative 1. x is negative 1. I plug this over here. So here's negative 2 plus 4y equals 8. So y is going to be 
uh, 6 over 4, so 3 half. Just to check if it's consistent with the second equation, we have negative 5 minus 2y. 2y is going to be Okay, um, here this is this is not three half. This is five halves actually. So I did a little too fast here. Um, here when if we plug a negative one in here, then we have negative two added over here. This is ten, so this is ten fourths, which is five half. Yeah, five half and five half and negative one is right. So this is point B. 5 half and negative 1. Yeah, so A here we have negative 2 and 0. B here we have negative 1 and 5 half. I'm running off space here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and erase this part here. Finally, we have our last point which is point C, which is the combination of 1 and 2. So we have x plus y equals negative 2. And 2x plus 4y equals 8. Take the first one times negative 2. We have negative 2x minus 2y equals 4. Add them. We have 2y equals 12. Yeah, so y equals 6. And if y equals 6, here we have negative 8, so x is going to be negative 8. So this point is negative 8 and 6. And here is our final answer.